His presence. Hallelujah. So I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm hoping that you have come with your liquid fire in your hearts to come and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. So I believe even if there's a heat wave, but uh, the fire in us is burning. Hallelujah. So God bless you. It's good to see you all. And I believe we are going to have a wonderful time. Hallelujah. Amen. So we may stand up and just greet your neighbor and say, God bless you, neighbor. Hallelujah. God bless you.
wasn't for your prayers, saints. I wouldn't be standing here, you wouldn't be standing here. Hallelujah. Amen. So we need to appreciate one another. We need to appreciate Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In the of time, I'm going to request you to be seated. And then, uh, Sister Toby, you'll come forth, my sister, and give us your, your song item. You can stand here next to the pulpit. All right.
today. Amen. Amen. So, we are going to start with uh, apologies. So we've got uh, Brother Malati and family are in the Popo this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. So, if you can see them, they are in the Popo. And then we've got uh, Brother Spamanda here. He's in Sukunda this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we've got Sister Hadi this morning. Is fellowshipping that pyramid today. Hallelujah. Amen. So we pray with our brothers and sisters out of here. Hallelujah. Amen. And then uh, there's another announcement. Announcement uh, concerning the. Okay, this is the. What do you call it? Uh, our meetings that we're going to have uh, on the from the on the thirtieth and the first. The 30th of November, yes, I got it right, and the 1st of December. We are going to have a, a conference here at home, uh, and then you are all welcome to come. Hallelujah. Uh, how many are here before the convention? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are going to have a, a, our local convention here at home on the 30th and the 1st of this month. We are going to have four services. Hallelujah. So they say I must announce that uh, contribution, contribution for the same for those services uh, will be three hundred per working person. Hallelujah! How three hundred only? Gee. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. Oh, that's not a lot of money. Hallelujah! Amen. God bless you. Uh, you know the brothers and sisters are smiling. I like it. Yeah, it's not a lot of money. Hallelujah! Yeah, it's not a lot of money, we should say it. Yeah, no. so it's only 300 rands because of its four services. So remember, when we've got two, we pop up 250, isn't it so? Yeah. yeah, so this time, because we've got four services, it will be 300 rands. Hallelujah. Amen. So, what place you say it? How many are here before the convention? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we've got uh, thankful hearts this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, meaning thanksgiving, hallelujah. Amen. So I'm going to read it for your saints. This one it comes from uh, Sister Anneli Siwe, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So it, read, it uh, goes as follows A grateful heart, shalom, saints. I would like to express my gratitude to our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. for his love and mercies Amen. upon my life. Amen. Amen. He opened another door for me. Mm -hmm. I got another job opportunity in Job Bank. Indeed, he is the prayer answering uh, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And then I've also got a grateful heart from our sister, Sister Jeanette Shiko. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, you know, Sister Jeanette, there she's sitting there, she's nodding her hair. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, I don't want to use that name. She said, hey, don't use that name in church. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I just really respect her, Sister Jeanette Shiko. So it reads as follows Thankful heart. Greetings to the saints. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank the Lord for healing me. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord for healing me. I had an operation on my upper jaw. He is still a healer. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all, Sister Jeanette Shiko. Hallelujah. What happened? And then we really appreciate. Yeah, it was an emergency, and then we really appreciate the Lord. He's a God of uh, of all seasons. Hallelujah. So we really rejoice with you, saints. Hallelujah. So now we are going to continue, and then uh, we are going to sing a song. You know it, put hand to look and then uh, observe the love offering, and then 
after the love of Harry, Brother Samani will come forth and read us a psalm. After reading a psalm, he will pray for the love of Harry and the tithes. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I believe you know this song.
who shall abide in the end of the devil? Psalm 15. What is it? Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and walk and walketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. Yes. He that backbited not with his tongue. Amen. Nor doeth he with his neighbor, yeah. nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. Amen. In whose eyes a vile person is condemned, yeah. but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. Yes, he that sweareth to his own heart Amen. and changeth not, yeah. he that putteth not out his money. To use them, nor take a reward against the innocent. Mm -hmm. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Amen. Dear God, we thank you, Lord, for the children, the brothers and sisters, Lord, who brought the children's offerings in the house. We bless them abundantly. Lord, and may you even hate that more than we ever be more. We thank you, my Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. As you said, and today we are going to welcome the Minister of the Word this morning. And I believe he is ready. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are going to sing a worshiping song while we welcome our brother. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's sing this one. I will follow. <clears throat>
heavens and the earth, the altar and the finish of our face, Lord. We come before that throne of grace, Lord, believing, O oh Father, that you are with us, O oh Lord, this morning, Lord. Knowing, O oh God, assuredly, Lord, Father, that you said you will never leave us nor forsake us, O oh Father. And this is the blessed assurance that we have, O oh Father, that you are with us even this morning, Lord. For you said, when two or three are gathered in my name, there we will be there, Mr. So Father. And here we are, O oh God, in the, the pen of the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. And we believe, O oh Father, and we know, O oh God, and we thank you, Lord Jesus, for joining us, Lord. We give you all the praises and all the glory and all the honor, Father. And we say, O oh Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, for identifying yourself with us, Lord. And we pray, O oh Father, this day, Lord, may you bless the reading of the word, O oh Father. May you bless the preaching of the word, O oh Father. May you bless the hearts that are going to hear the word, O oh Father. And may you bless the hearers as well, O oh God. We pray, O oh Father, that when we leave this place, Lord, may we be the doers of the word, O oh God. Because that's what is important, Lord. We pray, O oh Father, in Jesus Christ's name, be with us, O oh Father. We thank you, O oh Lord God, for everything that has been done, O oh Father, up to this time, O oh God. We say, O oh Father, take joy unto thyself, O oh Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, may all the glory and the praises be to thy name, Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Can we open our Bibles to the book of 1 Kings chapter 5? 2 Kings chapter 5. Amen. 2 Kings chapter 5, we are going to read from verse 10 until verse 14. Finding it, it is thus. And Elisha sent the messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and their flesh shall come again, unto, shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. But Naban was wroth and went away and said, Behold, I thought he will surely come un out unto me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over the place and recover the leper. Mm. Are not Aban and Farpa rivers of Damascus better than all the rivers of Israel? We are not washing them and be clean. So he turned and went his way in a rage. And his servants came near and spake unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee do some great thing, wouldest thou not have done it? How much rather than when he said unto thee, Wash and be clean? Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the men of God. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord add the blessings to the reading of the word. We may be seated. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The sermon we preached on Wednesday. Amen. For 30 minutes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we do what we can. Now, my sermon today will be I would not have. Amen. Yeah. I would not have. Amen. I wouldn't have, I would not have done it. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's something that we all know and we can relate to. That I would not have done it. Amen. I know myself. If it was me, or if it was according to me, that thing I would not have done. I wouldn't do it. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I would not have 
followed that road. Oh, I would not have come thus far. Or oh, I would not have done such and such a thing. Or oh, if it was according to me, I would not have listened to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of who I am. How I am. Hallelujah. I know myself. I would not have. Amen. Amen. Oh, God help us. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, many times when we come to some places and then we get to ourselves and we know that I, not me, this is not for me. Hallelujah. Amen. I can't do such and such a thing. Amen. I can't do it this way. It's not meant for me. Amen. Amen. Let's pray that God will lead us. Amen. Let's ask God and say, oh Lord, show me the way. Show me how to act. Give me direction. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, let me walk or let me go where you will lead. Amen. Let me be what you want me to be. Hallelujah. Because many times we find out it's difficult to obey. To take a simple instruction. It's very difficult. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then to do something which is against our will, that is very tough. Mm. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let's come to this man, Naaman, a great king of Syria, a great man. Hallelujah. Mm. This Assyrian king had a probe, and he had a problem with something that he did in his life. So what he did in his life caused him to have leprosy. And we know that leprosy is a disease, amen, of sin. When God strikes you with leprosy, it means you are a sinner. You are disobedient. You did something that God doesn't want. And then God will hit you with leprosy. So make a public shame that this man is a sinner. God leprosy. Mm. Yeah. He's disobedient. He did something that God doesn't want him to do. Hallelujah. Amen. And for that reason, God will strike you with leprosy. Amen. To show that this person is a sin. He did something that God did not want him to do. He knew something that he should have done. He should have done right. Amen. But because of him, he chose to do wrong. And God, Amen. You know God will always reveal you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. So God revealed this man and struck him with leprosy. To show in his kingdom that he is a sinner. Amen. And what happened to a, to a leper? We all know that the leper doesn't stay in the city. He has to go out of the city. Be with the other lepers there. Amen. Amen. And we all know that the leper Amen. Once you are struck with leprosy, there is no cure. Because of being a sin. You did something that God did not want you to do. So this Naaman was struck with leprosy. And when he was struck with leprosy, everybody was wondering, what did the king do? Amen. Because we all know in the time we are living in, Leprosy doesn't just come. He has done something which does not please God. And then they went all the Syrians, they went all over, and all the wise men and all the physicians of the country going up and down and said, The king has leprosy. <coughs> Amen. Let's put him under certain medication. It couldn't help. Then somebody said, Oh, I know. There was a certain, there is a certain girl amongst us of the captives. I heard the, that girl when she was speaking. She said, only if the king would go to Israel. Because in Israel we have a prophet. And that prophet will help the king. Then they came and told the king and said, there is a girl here amongst us of the captives of Israel. She says in Israel, there's a prophet, the man of God. And that man of God can perhaps tell the king what the king has done. That he should 
get such a punishment. And then the Nabal said, okay, call the girl. And they called the girl and the girl said to him, go into Israel, there is a prophet there. He would help you. Then Naaman went to Israel. Amen. Yes. Followed the protocol and went to Israel. And when he got to Israel, he went to Elish. And when you got to Elish, like sometimes when we come to God, we come with expectations. Amen. We come with offices. Amen. We come with desires. Yeah. We come with, uh, with the way we are. Yeah. So he came the way he was a king. And when he got there to you, Elisha, being the man of God, Elisha said he said it. And said, Gehazi, go and tell the king he must go and wash in Jordan seven times and he will be clean. Yeah. Then look at the man of status. Came with status before God. Amen. And he said, what kind of a prophet is this? Doesn't he not know that I'm the king? Amen. Does he not know that he should appear before me? That's what we do when we go to God. Does he not know that I'm a doctor? I have studied. I am qualified in such and such a thing. Why would he give me such an, a response? Why would not he answer me promptly? Hallelujah. That's what Naaman did. They said, ah, oh, does he not know who I am? Does he not prepare a table for me and receive him in his house? Because I'm a man of status. I'm a leper, but I'm a king. He should treat me like that. Amen. Amen. But look at him. He sent a second. That's how he looked at me. And then more on top of that, he tells me to go and wash in Jordan. The dirtiest river in the sea. A place where even he himself will never go and drink water from there. Mm. But he tells me to go and wash in Jordan. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what it was. Amen. And straight away he went away in a rage. Yeah. And that's now from the presence of God. Amen. Amen. He went what, what, what was said is not written. But he went away and who does he think he is? Is he the only prophet in this way? Get me another prophet. Who does he think he is to talk to me like that? Not appear before me. Oh, why didn't he come out and tell me something from God and lay hands on me and call the name of his God and heal and recover me? That's what he said. And he went away in a rage. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's what we do many times when we come before God. I would not have done it. Just like you and me. Amen. Just like Naaman. He said, not me. He should at least have a sense of respect. Hallelujah. Right. That's what he saw. Amen. A simple instruction. And that's what we would not do ourselves. We would not do it. If we are told something simple, oh, go and pray. Have you fasted? Who does he think he is to tell me to go and fast? Amen. Like myself, I wouldn't have done it. Who does he think he is? Oh, when I was sitting down, I read such and such and such a spoken word. Maybe go read, you find something for yourself. Mm. Oh, but this man, I thought he's a man of God. He prays for people. He lay hands on people. He should have at least came out and said something to me. Amen. At least anoint me with wine. That's our expectation. I wouldn't have done. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's what's now. He said, ah, not me. 
in this kind of a manner? Is this what they call Christianity? He said, oh, not me. I will not do it. Amen. Amen. And then he called and he said, what if he was a man of God? Amen. Amen. Why didn't he send a message and told him while I was still in my camp that I should go and wash in, in another river? Amen. In my camp. There's a river there, Abraham. A very good river. A clean river. There's far another river there. Why didn't he send a messenger there while I was still in my camp? I've taken all the time to come and see him. He doesn't even appear before him. Mm. Just to greet. Amen. And he went out in a rage. Amen. Amen. And, hallelujah. Amen. And also if it was me, I would also wouldn't have done it. We wouldn't do it. <coughs> hallelujah. Amen. Because why it does not come according to our expectation. According to what we have heard, according to what we expect it to be. Hallelujah. Amen. They say, Oh, that brother, when you get there, Amen, he will call you to his house, he will ask the wife to cook a nice meal, and then you will sit down, you will have a wonderful fellowship with him, he will introduce the children to you, and everything, you will meet everybody in the house. But not him. This time when you come, he will send the servant. Go tell him to wash in Jordan seven times. What? Hallelujah. Amen. And the man went away in a rage. Mm. But when you look at his condition, he's a leper, he's sick. Mm. Amen. Amen. Nothing would help him because leprosy, the only thing that is left is for you to die. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when you've got the disease of leprosy, your skin falls off. Mm. And slowly and gradually, amen, you stink. Because even in your clothes that you're wearing, we don't have to touch. The food, the utensils that you use in the house, we don't have to touch. Amen. That's how amen. contagious leprosy was. Amen. 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 What, what you use, it was only for you. Where you sleep, it was only for you. Amen. Amen. Then he thought, oh, he's ashamed to come and appear before me. And he went out in the rage. Hallelujah. Amen. But there's something that happened. His servant saw him. Amen. Mm -hmm. And verse 13, and his servants came near and spake unto him and said, my father, if the prophet had been there to do some great thing, that's what we want. Hallelujah. That's what we expect. We want something great. A miracle. Discernment. Amen. We want something, amen, wonderful. Hallelujah. Oh, we are going there. We want something. We want them to tell me who I am. What I have done. What I'm suffering from. Mm -hmm. To believe that it is of God. If the prophet would have told you some great thing. Amen. Come and offer 20, sh 20 shekels of self. Some great thing. Wouldn't you have done it? Amen. And he realized how oh, I could have done it. Is. That's what we do. Amen. Amen. If we were told. Amen. Go and do such and such a great thing. Oh, we rush. Oh, this prophet so and so coming to the city. Oh, we rush there. Amen. Oh, when you go there, you must pay 10,000 rand for the front seat. Oh, we rush there. Because it's a great thing. It makes you appear before people. Hallelujah. And they ask him, if you had said to you, go and do some great thing. Would it thou have done it? How much more rather when he said unto thee, wash and be clean. Simple as that. Yeah. Wash and be clean. Amen. 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 Not a great thing. 
Hallelujah. Amen. We spoke about JSK on Wednesday. Amen. River JSK in Alexander. Amen. Mm. In JSK, where it starts, there's many shacks there, people staying there, mm. passing water, they pour inside there, pampas and everything, dead dogs and everything. That was what was happening in Jordan. Amen. Mm. And what do you think? When I passed by Jordan, I saw a dead dog. Mm. Amen. Amen. And he says, I must go and dip here. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. That's an instruction from God. Simple. Mm. Just go and dip here. Nothing else. All you have to do, just go there and dip. Don't look at the circumstances. Don't look at the situation. Don't look at what is man. The instruction says go and dip. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me read you a code. Amen. It's in the message. God's provided way for this day. How we have our ways for a provided day. Amen. Amen. God's provided way for this day. Preach 1964, 0206 in the evening. Uh, paragraph 11, when we go with it down, Brother Bernie says, Deep here. Amen. And that's all it took. It was just to go there and dip seven times. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you went there, Amen. If he had dipped, he went there and dipped once. Leprosy. Still on him. Mm. If he had dipped seven times, when he crawled out, he still had leprosy. Mm. And when he dipped the sixth time, when he crawled out, he still had leprosy. Mm. He had to obey what was said to him. Mm. But if it was me, I would have done it. Many times you don't do it. Mm. Oh, it's enough, I've done it, it's enough. I've been to Jordan. I've dipped this enough. Yeah. How much more? Amen. Amen. Proverbs says he dipped once and leprosy is still there. Six times it was still there. Mm. He had to obey and come God's way. Amen. That's what we have to do. But I wouldn't have done it. We wouldn't have done it. Of our own accord, we would not have done it. Hallelujah. Amen. But obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. 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 Because our way we've got an expected result. But if we take God's provided way for today, what He said we must do, go deep seven times. That's it. Amen. Amen. But, oh, I would not have done it. Amen. Amen. That's us we would not have done it. Because we've got expectations when we come before God. Mm. When we pray, we've got expectations. Amen. This is how God must answer me. This is how it must come. This is how it must be revealed step by step. Then I will know it is God. Amen. We fail to obey and take God's provided way for the day. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's what no man did. Amen. Brother Brown, when he continues, says, When you have, when he had fully obeyed God's way, then leprosy left. Amen. You see, Amen. he was just like me. I would not have done it. Then the CD. Hallelujah. And he also, he. Not do it. According to him, it was an insult. Amen. He would not have done it. Hallelujah. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's continue. When we read on the same message, paragraph 20, yes, sir. Brother Abraham says, But God's way, provided way, is to stay there. One. That is 
was provided with is to go and spend it. Hallelujah. So when you have been there, where God took you, when God says you must go, you stay there. Amen. And problem when you continue and say, and work your way through. Hallelujah. You work your way through. Dip yourself into Jordan. That's what God says and what He expects of you. You go there and you do it. Yeah. So many times, amen, when we come to be Christians, we expect things to be automatic. Mm. We accept things to, to come the way they should come. As man are falling from heaven. Mm. But that's not God's provided way for today. Amen. That's why we have to go there, stay there, and work our way through. Amen. 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 If you have to pray your way through that problem, pray yourself through that problem. Amen. If you have to fight your way through that problem, fight your way through that problem. Amen. Don't sit and say, oh God, I have done what you have said. You said I come here. And don't work your way through. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, you stay two times young in a day and say, oh Lord, I have prayed enough. But is that God's provided way for today? Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I would not have done it. So impatient. We go away in a rage. We go away angry. We go away not even getting what we expected to get. Because it did not come our way. That's why we will never do it. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's how God said it. God said, go and do it. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Why do we have to go then and sit and do nothing? And expect things to come automatically. And things, expect things to happen anyway. Oh, I have prayed that's much as I can do. I will do nothing fair. But Brother Brenham says here, on God's provided way for this day that you work your way through. Amen. Amen. And when you work your way through, God sees the faith. Right. Amen. 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 Maybe the first time when you knelt down, you knelt down just to pray traditionally. Amen. Amen. And the second time when you knelt down, you knelt down to pray and say, maybe God did not hear me. Amen. And the third time when you knelt down, you knelt down now be humble. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Working your way through. Amen. You kneel down be humble. And said, oh Lord, the first time when I came, I came not the right way. This time, Lord, I'm coming the right way. Walking my way through. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And now when you kneel again, the third time, you need thanking God for what he has provided you. Amen. Say, oh Lord, I remember what you said. I remember all the promises that you gave. Amen. I remember everything, Lord, that it is done. Amen. I did not to worry. Hallelujah. Amen. Working your way through. Amen. Amen. That's what we're supposed to do. Not say, oh, I pray. And God is not answering me. We know many times Christians today, they don't want to work their way through. Hallelujah. Amen. Like Naban, he should have dumped in the river Jordan three times and said, no, the other time I'm going to abandon. I'll finish up in a bar. I'll go there, amen. And wash off all the dead from Jordan. Amen. I'll complete the task somewhere else. It's still a river. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Working your way. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what Brother Brennan is saying here. And then he says, amen. When he continues, he says, until God gives you, see, it, 
I'm, I'm not saying God will not do the miraculous. He will do the miraculous. Amen. And God does the miraculous. Amen. I will. Amen. You go and kneel down and say, Oh Lord, I come here and I come as I am. Lord, here's a problem in front of me. Hallelujah. And he says, no, all is well. When you stand up, the miraculous happen. That's our God. Amen. Amen. And then, but sometimes when you come before God, Amen. Because the trying of our faith worketh patience. Yeah. And it's more precious than no fine gold yeah. that is tried in the fire. Yeah. Not Amen. just fine gold. Amen. But fine gold that is tried in the fire. Hallelujah. Amen. So now when God comes here now and tries your faith and your patience. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we say, oh, Abana is one of the rivers in Jordan, in Syria. And Father is one of the rivers in Syria. Mm -hmm. I will start in Jordan. I will dip myself one, two, and then I will finish up in other rivers. Amen. Amen. It wouldn't work. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because that is not God's provided way for the day. Yeah. And we have a provided way for this. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. That's why I would not have done it. Mm. Amen. Let me read you another quote. In the spoken word, a time of decision, Christ 1959-0418, paragraph 10. A time of decision, Christ 1959-0418. 0418. Brother Branham says, Sometimes the ways of God are hard. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Sometimes the ways of God are hard. Because, oh, God will let you suffer. Will let you struggle with that sin many times. God will let you stay and have that sickness for a long time. Amen. 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 And then you wonder, why for so long have I been struggling with this thing? Mm. Because God's ways sometimes, they are hard. Mm. Mm. Brother Brennan, in another quote, he says, God's cock, I mean the cocks of God's clock turns, but slow. Mm. Amen. Mm. The cocks of God's clock, they turn, but slow. Yes. But surely they turn. Mm. Amen. Then we wonder, why is it so hard? Amen. Mm -hmm. Why do I have to struggle with this thing? Why do I not have get why do I not have to get a breakthrough? I'm struggling with this thing and I can't get a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, I need deliverance from this. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God's ways are so hard. That to the human mind, to comprehend, you just think that it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Ah, is that God's way? It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. We can't comprehend. Mm -hmm. We can't understand. Mm -hmm. We can't make sense of it. Mm -hmm. Just like Naaman. We can get our, our mind so around it. It's God's way. Amen. And it's a provided way for this day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, our lives are different. Amen. Our situations are different. Our experiences are different. Amen. 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 And we are children. As much as we don't deal with our children, all of them the same way. Mm -hmm. God won't deal us with us the same. Amen. 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 That's why Jesus, amen, to Bartimaeus, he says, amen, your faith has healed you, and his eyes are open. And to another blind man, he spit on the ground. Ridiculous. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Why didn't this man say, oh, my Moran, why didn't you just say your way and my eyes open? Did you have to spit on the ground? Because God's ways, amen, are sometimes ridiculous. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now I want to read you, amen, this code when you get it from the top. Brother Brandon says, amen, faith is ridiculous. Yes. If you think of faith, it's ridiculous. Ah, oh, do you believe such and such and such a thing? Do you believe God can do it to a human mind? Amen. It cannot comprehend. Because it's ridiculous. That is why, according to me, I would not have done it. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. I would not have done it. Mm. Amen. It's ridiculous. But it's God's way, yeah. nonetheless. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. God will take you and put in such a corner. Amen. And you will struggle to breathe. And then you would want to get out. They say, oh, if I can only escape, catch or gasp for air. Right. But nothing is happening. And if it was me, I would not have done it. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because in such a time, God will say to you, stay here. Yes. Just stay. Amen. Mm -hmm. You would want something God telling you, oh Lord, and you just say, stay here. Mm -hmm. And then you wonder, ha, for such a long time I've been here, and now I'm only hearing him today say, stay here. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, sometimes God's ways are so hard. Amen. That to the human mind to comprehend them, you just think that it's ridiculous. Yeah. That's a call. Amen. Amen. And that's what faith. That's what faith we have in God's way. People call us crazy. People call us names. They say, Ah, man, were you in your right mind to go and be baptized in such a river? By the way of immersion, right. dip down and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Why didn't you come to our church? We will just bring you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. Right. And I will say, you did that. I wouldn't have done it. You can't do that. You want to tell me that you, you still go to church and pray and believe that God will heal you? After 20 years of that sickness, it can't be here that is chronic. Mm. You, you've got a chronic illness. Amen. Hallelujah. But we have emotions. And they say, ah, no, 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 no. And then we walk away differently. Say, ah, not me. Amen. I will never do it. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's the first word that people say. Not me. I will not do it. Hallelujah. Amen. And many times we get people here yes, that will never do it. Amen. Amen. Even if you try to reason with them, ah, they will never do it. Yeah. Full of pride. Amen. 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 And, you know, full of themselves. Full of many things. Uh, no, 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 no. It's against, you know, it's against uh, my principles of life. I can't do it. I mean, we will not have done it. And I would not have done it. So no man, amen, could not understand it. No, no, no. Amen. He fought with himself and said, I call no Jordan to start with no and the man of God did not appear before me no yeah. amen he did not lay hands on me no hallelujah I've had he has done many things the prophet Elish amen. this is not according to him that's not how he operates no Amen. Amen. And we would not have done it. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And even us in the message, when we came, we would not have done it. We would not have said it. Hallelujah. Yeah. And we wonder that, ah, let me get Is it me following this thing? I would not have done it. Amen. Amen. You would not have done it. Look what happened to Norman. Then the servant came to him and spoke to him and said, But my father, let's reason it out. Mm -hmm. If it was something according to your ways, if it had came the way you like it. Amen. Wow. And it's such a great thing, something that will cost you dear. Wouldn't you have done it? You know, we we like to do something. Amen. Amen. But something that comes so simple, we think, ah, this is not it. And the servant came and told him, he said, but just take it like that. Just go and do it anyway. Right. See what will happen. Amen. They said, go wash and be clean. Amen. Amen. Then Naaman went. Hallelujah. Mm. It makes me think of something. Let's read verse 14. Let's see what happened. Then he went down and did himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. Right. And his flesh came again, like unto the flesh of a little child. Hallelujah. Amen. Imagine an old man. Amen. A fully grown mature man. When he comes out of Jordan, his skin is like the skin of a child. Soft, tender, nice, beautiful. Amen. Amen. Without blemish. He had a skin that had pimples and scars and things like that. But he got a new skin. Hallelujah. Amen. It tells me that when God even gives you something, God does not give you second hand. Hallelujah. Amen. And when God replaces, God does not give you a used thing. Amen. He gives you brand new. Hallelujah. Amen. Something totally different. A new skin. Amen. Somebody can say a new list of life. Hallelujah. Imagine, amen. You are struggling and you are praying and you are struggling with this problem, this boss. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are struggling with this boss, and you pray and pray and pray and pray, and God gives you a good, a wonderful boss. You are better job. Amen. Right. Something that is paying very well. That's how God works. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He will not take you and take you to a place that is far much worse right. than where you were before. He doesn't work that way. Hallelujah. Right. So after listening to the words of he said it. Then he got a new list in life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Go and dip. That's what the prophet, the man of God said. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me read you another quote. Many times, amen, it's in the message Impersonation of Christianity Presidente 1957 0120 In the morning Paragraph 186 Brother Ross say Friends Only by the brood Or cooing Of the Holy Spirit Can you ever do it Hallelujah Amen. I hope we got it. It is we wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't do it. But I remember 
patience is only by the brood and cooling of the Holy Spirit that we have done. Amen. Amen. I would not have done it if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit. Amen. If it wasn't for God to come and whisper to me. Amen. Because I would think it's ridiculous. It can never be done. Amen. I wouldn't do it by myself. Hallelujah. It was against my will. Amen. But it is the Holy Spirit that came and said, Hush. Listen. Amen. Pay attention to what he said. Amen. Wait a little bit. Amen. 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 And the Holy Spirit cooed. He said, Coo, 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 coo. Listen. I would not have done it. I would not have been in this message. Yes, Amen. 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 I would not have been a Christian. You would not have been a Christian if it was in of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 You could have said long time ago and said, this is hard and ridiculous. Amen. 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 We would not have done it and I would not have done it. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Just like the house, he would not have done it. Except for the servant, come to him and tell him. Said my father, but listen to what the prophet says. And the Holy Spirit came and said, "Wait a minute. Go read the scripture. In such and such and such a verse. Go check it out." And then I checked it out. And then I, but this might be gone. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That someone. Amen. That has to speak to you. Hallelujah. Amen. I would not have. Amen. Friends, only by the brooding uh, or the cooing of the Holy Spirit Amen. can you ever do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Will God ever promise to raise you up as you listen to his voice? That still small voice that speaks to the depth of your soul. That's one thing that helped me. I would not have done it. I wouldn't have. Hallelujah. Amen. If it wasn't for the Holy Spirit to come and speak to me. Hallelujah. Amen. And change my way. Hallelujah. There are many, many wonderful sermons out there. Many wonderful preachers out there. But we chose to sit under the message of the hour. Amen. Because, amen, the Holy Spirit came and cooled on us. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Brennan says in the message, hear his voice. Preach 1958 in the morning. He says, let me tell you, as people, don't you listen to anything else but what God says. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't listen to what anybody else is saying, but what God says. Amen. Because by myself, I would not have. Amen. I would not have been in this message by myself. Amen. It is sounded ridiculous. Hallelujah. Amen. But it says, wait. On that still small voice. Amen. Amen. Promises and he will change. Amen. That's what we need. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No man can change. Nothing can change. It's only God that can change. Amen. It's only the Holy Spirit that can change. Amen. But what we do, we don't sit. And wake our way. We came here with pride. Amen. And then when things go, don't go away. Say, ah, I knew. Hallelujah. <coughs> but the Holy Spirit is speaking to us. And say, sit a little bit. Amen. Listen a little bit. Go on a little bit further. Amen. Then I realize that ah, this was. And all the promises of God today, I believe them. Amen. Amen. Because
Because I listen to the Holy Spirit. Let me read you another thought. Amen. Let's come closing. It's in the same message here, his voice. Paragraph 183. Program says, Now, as I say this, friend, I heard the voice. And if the voice didn't speak according to the voice of God, here yeah, is the wrong voice. Hallelujah. If it does not speak according to the voice of God or to the word of God, it's a wrong voice. Amen. What did the servant say? The servant says to Naaman, but the man of God is telling you a simple thing. Go wash and be clean. A simple thing. Hallelujah. But there's a voice that will come and say, oh, he did not mean it that way. He meant we can go and make our way and make a pond by Jordan. And we take the waters from Jordan and wash you. That's another voice. Oh, he did not mean it that way. He meant we should, we can go over to Jordan and scoop a little bucket full of water. Then you go inside there. And we wash you there. You will be clean. That's another voice. Amen. That is not the voice of God. The voice of God will repeat exactly what God said in the beginning. Amen. If you speak something contrary, that is not the voice of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Then now, amen. For soup all. Oh, and listen to the voice of God. Hallelujah. Oh, many times, amen, when we hear things, then we wonder, oh, is it true? Did it really happen? Amen. amen. That is why myself, that is me personally. Amen. That's me personally. Even if I hear they say, oh, brother, so and so and so and so, or you should be saying this and this about the message, I will never go there. Yeah. Amen. I don't. That's me personal. Mm -hmm. I've heard they said many stories. Hey, you, you know, brother, chickens, this, 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 this. Never. I will never go there. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because it will mind my testimony. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. What does it do? Hallelujah. The word of God says, it must be an adulterated way. Amen. Something that is not mixed up. Hallelujah. It must speak the same thing. Now we go there. And then when we get there, we define ourselves with these things. This and this, this and this, this and this in the message. But it's not the voice you heard from the beginning. Hallelujah. Amen. If it was because of me, or if it was according to my way, I would not have. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. According to me, I would not have done it. I would not have been in this message. But thank God for the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That came and cooled and brewed and spoke sense into this thing. Amen. And make it clear. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we need more than anything. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. After we've heard the sermon, that's what we need. Amen. The Holy Spirit to come and prove upon us. Amen. So that it can tell us more of this thing. Make it clear and plain to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's go down, amen, and sit and do it. Hallelujah. I'm missing a quote here. Amen. It's fine. I did not put it in. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All things work us together for good. Hallelujah. Amen. It's for it's good reason. Hallelujah. Amen. So we know many things in the message. 
Amen. As I'll be closing. We know a lot in the midst. Some of these things, they are ridiculous. Some of these things, we could never have done it. If it was according to us. Because they don't make sense at all. They say, Brother Brandon, we have never seen him. They say the message of the hour, adoption and things. We cannot make sense of it. But the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. speaking and proving on it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So one thing we have to do, we have to allow the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's the most important thing. Amen. 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 Without the Holy Spirit, we will never go right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Without Him, we will never succeed. Amen. Without Him, we will never get anything right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, you would say, if it, was, if it wasn't because of the cross, we have never seen the cross. You say, oh, if it wasn't because of Calvary, we have never seen Calvary. Mm. But there's one that's always coming to you, speaking to you, telling you these things. Yeah. Amen. 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 And he, he does not speak of himself. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He speaks, amen. Mm. Because he speak of him that said it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he doesn't take glory to himself. Yeah. He gives the glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So we know, amen, that if any other voice come and speak deep, it's not the voice of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because where we are, we would never have done it. Amen. Amen. I would never have. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Let's stand on our feet.
Oh, so 